Hello, this is Stefano from K Devices, and today I'm going to talk about Tatat, our MIDI generator plugin. As a result of our partnership with Avid, Tatat is now available as a free AAX MIDI effects plugin to all Pro Tools users with active subscriptions or perpetual upgrade plans. Tatat is a unique tool that makes generative music accessible with a simplified approach to algorithmic composition. You can easily use it to add counterpoints or embellishments to your existing projects, look for inspiration for new ideas, or even control drums and create fills. Tatat is a plugin designed to output an endless stream of MIDI notes, according to the user's settings, to which we refer as mood, as well as generating and exporting MIDI clips based on an infinite amount of variations, perfect when looking for recurring phrases to easily manipulate via the timeline. Through its parameters, it is possible to define chance amounts for different elements that are used to guide the resulting output. Notes can even be input on the fly by injecting any kind of MIDI source into the plugin and effectively turning it into a lunatic arpeggiator. In this video, we'll explore a few ideas of how Tatat can integrate within the Pro Tools workflow. However, if you're interested in a more detailed overview of the plugin, please refer to our walkthrough tutorial, on which we take a more detailed look at how each parameter works. You can find the Tatat installer under the product section of Avid Link or in your Avid account. Once you have it installed, let's take a look at how to use it in Pro Tools. So, Tatat is a MIDI effect and needs to be loaded in an instrument track. Once the track has been instantiated, we'll be able to locate it under the MIDI plugins menu of the track insert slots. Tatat sends out MIDI note messages, so we also have to load an instrument to receive such messages. We have to make sure that the instrument is placed below Tatat, since the MIDI data flows downward. Tatat's output is also available to be routed externally, making it possible to control any kind of MIDI-compatible external hardware. Now that both Tatat and the instrument have been loaded, we can press play on the transport in order to start the stream generation. Tatat's output is based on the whole configuration of the plugin, which, again, we call Mood. By default, it produces a stream of predetermined MIDI notes that can be set using the note slots. This is pretty interesting in case we wish to explore different rhythmic patterns within certain constraints. But we can also alter the notes in real time by using any kind of MIDI input, using Tatat as an advanced arpeggiator device. First of all, we need to activate the Live Keys button, which is the keyboard-like shaped button on the left of the note slots. Once activated, it allows up to four incoming notes to replace the currently stored ones. We can see that by arming the track and pressing on an external MIDI keyboard is enough to change their values. It is also possible to use notes from a recorded MIDI clip by routing their respective track into Tatas 1. This way we can create endless patterns that are consistent with the harmony of the composition. Tatat can also export endless variations as MIDI clips by dragging the mouse from the export triangle straight onto the timeline. The exported clips follow the length set via the buffer parameter, but do not contain any previously heard phrase. In fact, every time we click and drag, a new clip is generated according to the overall mood. The exported clips can then be treated as regular MIDI files and can be edited and rearranged in order to explore different ideas stemming from the same configuration. In the 
memory section of Tatat, it is also possible to loop a portion of the stream and merge it with the real-time generated notes by using the live mem slider. This allows to tidy up the randomization by adding regularity to the stream while injecting it with endless variations. The loop buffer starts looping as soon as the crossfader leaves the leftmost side and won't be refreshed until it gets back to that position. With the fader all the way to the right, only the looped phrase can be heard, while any other position in the middle balances the chance of hearing contributions from the generative counterpart. It is important to notice that the length of the loop is also managed by the buffer parameter. Tatted can be an endless generator, foster creativity by suggesting variations, playing along with the musician or kickstart entirely new compositions. We hope these inputs will encourage you to explore all of the different things you can do and inspire new ideas, and also we are curious to listen to your outcomes. We have plenty of additional content about Tatted generating all kinds of different outputs and controlling all kinds of different instruments. So feel free to check them out as well as taking a look at the product page on our website and of course don't hesitate to get in touch if you wish to know more about it.